So if you still remember, last year I had made a video on how to enable the LED notification light on the Moto G3 which went viral, like I got more than 100,000 views. Then I made a video on how to enable that on the Moto X Play. By the way, I was the first guy on the internet to make a video on that and I had 8 months back I had made a video on how to enable that on the Moto G4 Play and even this video went viral. And after that, I was getting a lot of comments on how to enable that, it asked for root. So today in this video, I would be showing you again how to enable that and answering some of your questions which I got in that video. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before starting, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I'm gonna make more videos like this in future. So first let's start with the most asked question which is whenever I launch the application it asks for root and the app is not opening, the light is not blinking and any and other things but basically the main point was it asks for root that was the main or the biggest question which I was getting and let's answer that. So well basically these lights on the Motorola devices which you see over here the hidden LED notification light those doesn't get on until you have root access. Um, so what you have to do is you have to root your smartphone and if you don't know what's root I'll drop a link in the description and by the way make sure you watch it till the end because in the end I'm gonna show you how to root these Motorola devices as well so make sure you watch this video till the end so there are two ways that you can enable these and hidden LED notification light one so there is an app in the Google Play Store called Moto LED Enabler for Moto X and the Moto E I would be dropping a link in the description to this application so you can go to the Google Play Store you can download this you can grant the root access and you will have the LED notification light blinking or it will be enabled so once you get any notification that light will go ahead and blink like the other devices do with the notification light but the other way which is a little difficult but a better way from which you can enable is um, root or like that was root as well but this is uh, custom ROMs what basically you can do with this is you can install custom ROMs like Cyanogen mod or Lineage yeah we have Lineage right now then uh, resurrection or a lot of ROMs available for the Moto G3, Moto X Play, Moto E and the Moto G4 Plus there are a lot of ROMs available for these devices so you can download that you can go to the settings menu and you will find an option for the notification light so you can enable through that and why am I saying the ROM method is better because the because in the ROM method you have uh, more features yeah definitely you have more features than the stock it is more customizable you can add themes and the best part is you don't need any external app it's just from the settings on the custom ROMs and you can get the notification light on so now let's talk about how to root as I told you in the start I'm gonna be talking about them let's go ahead and talk about it hello guys Zander here this method will work on all the devices that are running Android Lollipop and if you have Android Marshmallow then this method will work but there will be few modifications that you will need to do and all those will be linked in the description box below and those will be given in the description box below so do not worry even if you have marshmallow update and if you are watching this video after updating your phone to marshmallow then just go to the description box yes check out the description box right now and uh, see what are the extra steps that you have to take and i will make sure that the steps will be very very easy so do not worry about those steps also so after this now let's get to the routing method for the device and to do this you will need to have fastboot and adb working on your device and if you do not have adb and fastboot installed on your pc then simply download this and download link for this will be in the description box below also so do not worry just download this and install this this is pretty much self explanatory so once that is done you need to download the motorola usb drivers and those can be found over here so if you are running windows system then download this uh, that is download for windows i have already downloaded that so i'll just simply install it now and after this you need to go to your phone so we are on the phone now attach the usb cable that you have and we are going to use a micro usb cable any micro usb cable will be fine and as we are in about phone tap the build number seven times so as you can see i have tapped the build number seven times just go back once again and go into developer options over here and make sure that oem unlocking is selected so if this is not enabled then you will not be able to unlock your bootloader and uh, because of which we won't be able to root our device so make sure oem unlocking is selected 
and select USB debugging also. So select that. So now we have successfully installed the ADB drivers and the Motorola drivers. So our command prompt should be working. And now to open the command prompt and to write the different commands, I have already listed these commands over here, which we are going to use. So to do that, simply hold shift key on your keyboard. So hold shift key on your keyboard and now press right click with the mouse. So press right click with the mouse and you will see something as open command window here. So the method was like hold shift key on your keyboard, then press right click with the mouse and you will see something as open command window here. And now uh, just to check if the ADB drivers that we have installed are working or not on our device, we'll write a command that is ADB devices. So as you can see, you will get something as allow USB debugging, select always allow and select OK over here. So as you can see ADB drivers are successfully installed and everything is ready now. And if you get some error over here, like ADB devices does not result in a device name like this, some random name, it won't be exactly similar for your device. It will be a little different. So do not worry if it is different, but you should get some output. And if you do not get some output, then simply install the ADB drivers, which I told you earlier once again, and uh, unless and until it is working, which should be working after you install, do not go forward. And now we need to boot the phone into the bootloader mode. So for that, you can write a command as ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Now the device will boot into the bootloader mode. And now we need to copy this first command that is fastboot OEM get unlock data. Simply copy that command and paste it over here. And after that hit enter button and you will get a long code like this. And now we need to copy this code into this and now we need to copy this code onto the Motorola web page uh, that will be available over here that is unlocking the bootloader. Link of this will be given in the description box below so do not worry. So as you can see the title of the page is unlock your bootloader, review the risk. So you can go through all this, I have already gone through that. Select next over here and it will ask you to sign into your Motorola account. So if you do not have a Motorola account as of now, then simply create one and I have a Motorola account already. So I'll just sign into that. So as you can see, we are over here after signing in. So Dhananjay, this is my profile. And now we need to copy this code, uh, this code from here to here. Just copy this code by selecting control C on your keyboard select control C and write control V over here and now we do not need these uh, things that is bootloader thing so simply remove the bootloader bootloader wherever you should bootloader as written remove that once again select this and just remove that once again bootloader is present over here and make sure that there are no space uh, in between numbers so there are no space in between these numbers so I'll just select can my device be unlocked it will say verifying eligibility and yes my device bootloader can be unlocked so request unlock key button will be over here and it will say unless you have a developer edition device this will void your warranty are you sure select ok so this method will void your warranty. So if you do not want your warranty to be void, then yeah, you can stop over here right now. And as you can see, I received the unlock code in my Gmail account immediately. And like in few seconds, I received this unlock code. So unlock code for my device is this. Do not use this code guys. Uh, unlock code for your device will be completely different. And once again, go to the command prompt that we had opened earlier. And now write fastboot devices. So as you can see, it is showing our device and this is a unit code that will be different for you. And now to unlock the bootloader, we need to write this command that is fastboot OEM unlock. Copy this command and paste it over here. And now copy this code. Uh, so copy the code again and paste it over here. And now simply hit enter button. And so as you can see, it is saying phone is unlocked successfully. So we have unlocked the bootloader successfully and that will be notified over here also. So as you can see, it is saying device is unlocked status code three. So yes, the device is unlocked and now we can flash the TWRP recovery on our device. So in order to flash TWRP recovery, which is present over here. So as you can see, this is the TWRP image file. And now to flash the TWRP recovery file, we are going to use this command that is fastboot flash recovery TWRP lux blah, 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 blah. So copy that command. 
and paste it over here and once you paste the command over here simply hit enter button and uh, this recovery twrp recovery will be specific to your device like if you are using moto x style then the twrp recovery of that device will be linked in the description box below and if you are using moto g third generation then for that also the link for twrp recovery will be in the description box below so do not worry about that and make sure that you download the twrp recovery of your device only like do not flash Moto G 3rd generation's TWRP recovery on your Moto X style. That won't be flashed and even if the TWRP recovery gets flashed, you may get into trouble afterwards. So yeah, make sure that you download and install the correct version of your TWRP recovery for your device. And the TWRP Lux 2.8.7 slash version 2 is the TWRP recovery name. So as you can see, this is the TWRP recovery and the name of this is present over here so if for your device the twrp for your device twrp image is named as twrp moto g3 then write this twrp name over here and if it's moto x style then write this so basically replace this part with the recovery name that you have over here so yeah that's quite easy and now i'll suggest you to boot into the twrp recovery directly otherwise you may get some error like uh, the twrp recovery is not flashed and you may get a dead android logo because of which you will need to flash the twrp recovery once again i suggest you to not boot into the system directly copy this command that is fast boot boot i'll just I'll explain this command once again. Just let me just paste it over here. So as you can see, our device will boot into the TWRP recovery now. And till the time the device boots into TWRP recovery, mm -hmm. I'll explain you this command. So once again, this is the name of the TWRP recovery file. And uh, for your device, if the name is TWRP Moto X style. So basically replace this part with the recovery name that is present over here. So yeah, I hope you understood that. And after this select swipe to allow modifications over here and uh, you have successfully flashed TWRP recovery now and now go into reboot select system and it will ask you your device does not appear to be rooted install super SU now select do not install as of now because we are going to do that and we are going to flash super SU through TWRP recovery once again and uh, once you boot into this uh, menu over here uh, even if you do not set up that will be okay because you can see the internal storage over here on your PC. So now we need to copy the super SU zip file, uh, which will be linked in the description box below. So do not worry. Simply copy and paste that zip file into the internal storage of your device. And after that is done, switch off your device. And now I'll show you the hardware method of booting into the fast boot mode. So to do that, uh, remove your USB cable if you have attached because that's not completely necessary now. And once the device is shut down or it is switched off completely, hold the volume down button and the power button together and the device should boot into the bootloader mode. And uh, once you see this menu, simply you can leave the buttons. And now we need to boot into the recovery mode. So select volume down button. So it will come to restart bootloader. We do not want to restart the bootloader. Yes, we want to boot into recovery mode. So to select this, hit the power button and it will boot into the TWRP recovery. So once again, select swipe to allow modifications. Select install now. And now select the super SU zip file that we had put into the internal storage. So select that zip file, select swipe to confirm flash and the zip file will be flashed now so yeah as you can see the zip file installation is completed now select reboot system and the device should boot into system and uh, once it boots up it will be rooted and we'll check that with the root checker application and now i have installed the root checker application so open that application select agree select ok and select verify root over here and yeah as it is asking for super user request that means our device is successfully rooted and as you can see it is saying congratulations the device has root access so we have successfully rooted the moto x play over here and the same method applies to moto x style and the moto g third generation also but wait let's talk about how to install custom roms i have a specific video on that which would be linked in the description down below go ahead and watch that video to be more specific on how to install custom roms 
on your moto devices surprisingly some people had issues like their hidden led like their led notification light was turned on without even doing anything and it is not going off um even i was shocked when i heard that because I, i was getting a lot of comments on how to enable that and some people are asking how to disable that so well for now i don't have specific answer for that or keep an eye in the comment section down below or make sure you go ahead and follow me on instagram and twitter i will be posting on it on that so it's so it has been it thanks for watching my name is shaban and i'll catch you guys in the next one